Hello and welcome to my last part of my comic book collection thing. The first two will have been called Graphic Novel Collection Part 1 and 2, and then this is still a continuation, even though it's about the individual comics. And as I said before, if you haven't watched that video, uh, my previous one, which would be Part 2 of my Graphic Novels and Graphic Novel Collection, it, what I basically said was that these comic books, like, for example, this, is the most watered down version of, say, the graphic novel. The graphic novel is like having the six issues of a uh, of a series of comic books in one book. So then you might say, oh, well, what would be the point in getting a comic book? Well, they're, first of all, a hell of a lot dirt cheap -er than, say, um, a graphic novel. Graphic novels usually cost maybe 11 to 20, 25 quid. And obviously, on a, you know, you know, you, you might want to just see whether or not you like that story, and, and you know, if you don't, and you've spent, you know, 10, 20 quid, then that will definitely, you know, kind of put a burn in your pocket. So, I, I do think comic books have their value, they're the better to kind of test the waters with, and I don't mind them, actually. I like comic books and graphic novels. I think graphic novels are a lot better because they have all the stories there in one place, but, you know, I like getting the comic books as well. Um, yeah, anyway, on to showing you what I have. I'm not really going to go in depth and what I got, what I've got, but I'm just going to show you and you'll know. Uh, I'm mainly doing this because a friend, um, the superhero guy, I think his username is, but he changes it quite a lot. Um, yeah, he asked me, he's a good friend and I know him in, like, outside YouTube. Um, He's a really good friend, and he's been. He, he used to ask me quite a bit to do these kind of videos, and so now I will, and now I am doing. So yeah, these are all my oh at the minute DC ones, DC related comics. So we've got quite a few Green Arrow comics. I like my Green Arrow. If you couldn't already tell. And I'm showing you the back, even though mainly the back just has like an advert. An advertisement, so as a game or as a thing, I don't know. Batman or a TV show. As you can see, some of them are from Free Comic Book Day. Which I've only been to once. Uh, closest one to us was at Leeds. But yeah. This one's from like WH Smiths, so that's why it's kinda different from the other ones if you've not if you've noticed. It kinda has like a different glossier kind of effect. I kinda just prefer getting the normal comics like these ones from like Forbidden Planet or It's a Trap, which is a lot closer than Forbidden Planet, which is in Leeds. I'm not going to actually show you the back because there's no point. This one's pretty cool because look, you got this. It's got like a a see-through kind of transparent, that's it, see-through. Um, transparent kind of cover and it's the first origin story of uh, Wolverine. Really cool. My friend gave me this. Uh, ironically, the superhero guy gave me that. Or we traded. I gave him like the Flash or something or a Flash. The Flash comic book. The 50th year of Spider-Man, so that will probably be worth quite a bit. These ones are obviously Marvel. I forgot to even mention that. Some Audible Blue Hedge Smith ones.
now we go on to like expanded comic book universe if that makes any sense so basically other licenses than uh, Marvel and DC first of all we've got the Doctor Who ones because if you're not aware I'm a Doctor Who fan which is a bit funny because you know I'm saying that on my YouTube channel where everything 9 out of 10 of the content is pretty much Doctor Who related so yeah Tomb Raider, which I didn't even know they did um, a comic of, to be honest. Uh, by Dark Horse, that's where it'll always tell you uh, the people who make them. So, for example, the people who do the Doctor Who ones are IDW, regular show, which is a nice uh, TV show. I definitely think that the uh, comic books, if you're a fan of cartoons, the comic books are always... Um, which I am, uh, and that the comic books are always a good way of, you know, being able to watch, or we kind of like get expanded stories, or just creative stories that maybe they wouldn't be able to get away with um, on the TV show, or if you don't have the TV network, the Cartoon Network channel anymore, which I don't, which is so annoying. But yeah. Superhero Guy did also ask me um, what my like for uh, comic books were uh, and that on my Q&A video so when it comes around oh he said what like the story is or story arc but I'm just gonna instead of saying what my favourite story arc is because off the top of my head I can't think of any memorable ones um, I'm just gonna like pick a top three top three comics slash graphic novels to to answer that question, so so super superhero guy, if you're watching, that's what will be happening then. So And then we go on to these ones which are in bags, which is because my uncle uh, gave me them. Uh, my uncle's friend actually gave me them a long, uh, quite a while ago now. Uh, basically just Fantastic Four comics. Up to about 50. And there's X amount of comics in each bag, so they're not just like... For example, this is 21 to 25, so... So there's five comics in this bag, and then 26, and that, and so on, till about 50, and I read nearly most of them, and then I got a bit bored, which is irritating, because now I can't remember where I got up to. And I got up to about, no, uh, those are X-Men ones, um, and that one's an X-Men one, um, yeah, it's rather confusing, um, yeah, no, they're all jumbled up at the minute, but, you know, but there's up to about oh, X-Men, um, oh, no, X-Men again. Yeah, no, there's quite a few of them, but yeah, um, yeah, as you can tell, I've got quite a few comics as well as graphic novels, but individual comics as well. These ones, as I say, all these X-Men, the X-Men, all my X-Men and... Ultimate Fantastic Four are technically not mine, so I I got all these for free, which is a sweet deal, really. 
if I do say so myself. So yeah. Um, so yeah, as always, thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.